Alright, welcome back to the Easy Mod Invitational. I'm Yanaro, and today we. Keep saying today. Uh, this is our third match today. Uh, it is Aoyuru versus Will Cookie. And uh, looks like we're having our first warm up. Looks like we'll only be having one warm up, actually. Is skipping. So yes, we have Aoyuru, aka Zonuts, aka BBJ, aka Todestri, versus the one and only Will Cookie. And looks like Will Cookie is having a very peculiar mod choice. Oh, say what? Ah, the AR, my eyes! Ah! It's too fast, they're burning. My eyes, no. Imagine playing an AR higher than 7. <laughs> Cringe. Yes! Kind of, uh... Looks like a pretty fun warm-up. Seems like a pretty difficult map to read with these. A lot of, uh... Weird patterns. It is an interesting comparison to see how the map was intended, how the map is uh, intended to be played on the left and uh, uh, 
Then uh, the AR-10 shitter is on the right. Oh yeah, uh, really well played from both sides. Uh, very nice warm up. If you take into account the uh, 0.5x multiplier, the scores were actually really close. Overall. Uh, yes, exclamation mark a roll in the chat if you want to roll along with the players. Exclamation mark, roll in the chat. Exclamation mark, roll in the chat. September. Exclamation mark, roll in the chat. Alright. We're going to have our bands. Uh, what could these bands going to be? I don't have the map pool on the side, I, I don't. Just open it. Exclamation mark map pool in the chat for the map pool. Hog. So, yes, Will Cookie Bans and Nano Death, the easy halftime, and. Awiru Bans. AG Kuin be the double tap pick. And it looks like Wilcookie is going to be ending up uh, picking Sarnar? Well, it's a very interesting pick, considering Wilcookie did just ban uh, Nano Death. As uh, they are sort of similar maps in terms of uh, note density. So. I'm not exactly sure why he would ban um, Nano Death and then go for the Sinar Waltz pick. They're sort of the same skill set. Uh, I guess they're still different in terms of uh, patterns. So, Wilco well, might just be a lot more comfortable on a map like Sinar Waltz. Oh, yeah, let's see how it goes. Ooh, and Will Cookie does end up missing on that uh, pattern right before the course. It is uh, pretty difficult in terms of aim, so happens. But uh, Awiru is going to end up taking the lead here. Any smilers in the chat? Shoutouts to Zonuts. And Will Cookie, despite that earlier little miss, uh, Will Cookie does and seem to have a nice combo built up. Looks like uh, Aoyuru doesn't end up missing here. 
It's all pretty nice lead for our leader, but Will Cookie does have a combo, so uh, his chance to bring it back. That lead is uh is diminishing. Wilkuki does end up taking the lead here. Of course, if Wilkuki win, that would end up missing about now. Who almost actually ended up that 50 was so close to being a miss. That was a uh, milliseconds away. Oh, but actually does end up missing. I don't know if there's enough time for Aoyuru to take this back, but he does have a combo. This could actually be a real nail biter. The lead is shrinking from Will Cookie's side, and oh, what? Right at the last moment, Aoyuru takes it back. That is 20k points. That is nothing, and Aoyuru is just barely gonna take the first point. That is crazy. Uh, Will Cookie had uh, real trouble reading those last patterns. There, some uh, some difficult stacks in terms of timing, and uh, of course with the nerves of just coming back from a, with a combo like that. Like Will Cookie saw the combos during the break, and he knew that he uh, wasn't the lead there, pretty much. Uh, yeah, that was very very tight at the end there. Of course, we have Aoyuru, aka BBJ, aka Zonuts, aka Todestrib, picking Todestrib. So, yes, that is where the name comes from. It is this song in particular. So. We have a fan in the game here. Both players end up FCing that start stream. Oh, no! What? Say what? Who misses there? Oh, well, you were with a. I don't know if that was a miss aim or some finger control whipsery, but. What happened is clear. Oh, were you missed. And uh, that was not, not something anyone really expected. Cookie actually takes the lead once again here. Wilkuki has a lot better of a lead this time than in the last map. Pretty hard to throw this one away. Especially since uh, this section is kind of one of the easier sections of the map. Pretty much just simple streams into uh, some uh, sliders. Pretty much free combo. And Wilkuki well, seems to be doing really nicely, and uh, well, so is Aoyuru, but it doesn't really matter. That was a very weird miss from Aoyuru at the start there. Wilkuki well, is going to end up tying the situation one to one. A very nice FC. Uh, yeah, there it is. Of course, now does Will Cookies pick once again. Both players taking each other's picks. Let's see if that trend continues.
Yes, Will Cookie thinking about his uh, next pick. It's gonna be number nine. Uh, that is the easy HR pick, Kakuzetsu Thanatos. Players are gonna be going into uh, the uh, mod selection screen and they're gonna be picking easy and hard junk. It sounds crazy, but they can do that. I know, it's insane. But how? How do they do it? Like the referee is spouting some weird nonsense in the chat there. No fail. What? No. Alright, looks like we'll be getting into the map. And oh, looks like Will Cookie's actually gonna go for the easy hit and hard rock. Remod Gaming. This is, um, according to many, one of the easier maps in the pool. Uh, it has a bit of a tricky timings on the sliders. Uh, the rhythms are quite a bit different from uh, the Skystar and RLC dips. And, and, and the Rin dip, of course. Uh, so, of course, those two maps Actually, those all through those three maps are uh, a lot more popular than this Poké Diff. So uh, players might be a bit uncomfortable with the rhythms of this map, just because uh, the other three maps use uh, different rhythms. Not that the rhythms in this map are odd in any way. When Will Cookie with a miss there, not sure where that was, missed it, but a miss it is, and uh, our Yuru is going to take the lead here. Like, oh, we were just really running away with this. But Cookie had that miss earlier, and he has built up combo since, but you really need uh, the other player to break for anything to happen. And Will Cookie actually breaks himself. Our oh, is just going wild. FC. Of course, the ending is a lot harder, but at this point, the point is pretty much secured. Just a matter of FC or not FC. those cool style points. Right, we're getting into the uh, end speed up here. BPM goes up by 20. Like, our Yuru is taking care of it really nicely. We're gonna end up with an FC here. Brilliant. 
and uh, our Yuru takes the point on the easy HR pick, which happened to be Will Cookie's pick, so both players taking each other's picks in, uh, in, this, uh, in this match. And straight away into the Miracle Hinnacle pick from Aoyuru. So yeah, we have uh, an AR0 pick. Of course, this map is uh, unlike the last map. Uh, this is uh, an edited version. AR has been edited from uh, 8 to 0. And looks like the tourney client does not know what map is going on. Uh... Panic button. Alright, there we go. I'm not gonna let Will Cookie, uh... You try that right now. I'm gonna have to do it afterwards. Now, the easy uh, HR leader mod leaderboard is uh, pretty contested, so I can see why you want to go back to that. Uh, fix your score. Who will cookie with some very troubling misreads? Doesn't seem to be very comfortable with the A or zero. Oh, and actually, yep, that's the same mistake. Uh, I believe Goink did that in the earlier match. The exact same misread. And Aoyuru with lead here. Now, Will Cookie does not seem to be very comfortable on the uh, Miracle Hanukkah here. Ooh, and another misread from Will Cookie there. And another one not looking comfortable at all on this map. I think uh, Will Cookie thought that uh, that pattern was a cross instead of a square. And then uh, just completely misreading the other one. Happens with A or Zero. Ooh, and even mistimes the. Uh, A 1-2, mistaking it for a 1-1 one, one this time, unlike the other time. Yep, yeah, and there's that 1-2 section. We always see a misread on that. But Aoyuru, don't know if that's an FC. Did have an A rank in the break, but this is uh, pretty dominant. And another square, those are pretty tough if you're not used to air zero and uh well cookie having some trouble. And that is is that an FC from our Euro? Or was that a one miss right at the start? It was actually an FC. So yeah, very nicely done by our Euro. Great FC coming out here on Miracle Hinnacle.
But yeah, it is a uh, Will's pick now. Let's see what it goes for. It's gonna be number five. That is Kagen no Tsuki. Yeah, Kagen no Tsuki. Uh, I believe we've seen this in every match so far. Uh, same with Miracle Henical. Seem to be both very popular picks. There's a. Um... Let's see what maps we have yet to see. Not sure if we've seen Saika on stream or uh, Hanakagaro. And I, and I don't think we've seen Shotamin or Monochrome. So we have uh, quite a few maps that have yet to uh, be picked. Now, Shotamin did get banned at one point, and so did Saika. Looks like Will Cookie actually going for the hidden. This map is not too difficult to read. The patterns are really simple. But I can definitely see the hidden. Will Cookie does seem to be a uh, pretty much hidden only player. So. Even when with the uh, hidden on uh, Kakuzetsu Thanatos. So whenever the AR is a bit higher, it seems like Will Cookie will go for the uh, hidden. Some of the timings can be a little difficult on this map, but you sh pretty much shouldn't misread at all. Had an early miss from Aoyuru, but otherwise... When Will Cookie enters, ends up missing right at the end of the uh, chorus there, not looking good. Got some extra points for the combo thanks to that hidden, but Aoyuru has a combo. And uh, we're on a slow part. So uh, this lead is definitely gonna switch. Ooh, and Will Cookie, another miss. Slider breaking on a uh, pretty difficult pattern. Aim wise. Ooh, and another. I'm not sure what that was. I think it was a slider break, but. Now Yuru is keeping up this combo. Okuki, ooh. Oh, when both players actually missing on that triangle, that is uh, one of the more difficult patterns in the map. It can definitely trip you up. Usually don't necessarily misread it, but you might read it a little late and uh, that will sort of screw up your aim. Seems like that happened to at least Will Cookie there. Didn't really spot what happened to Aoyuru on that triangle, but seems to be the case. Pretty convincing from Aoyuru. Will Cookie had a nice combo in the start there end up uh, missing right at the end of the course. Very unfortunate for uh, Will Cookie. But uh, definitely admirable, admirable for uh, Will Cookie to go for the HD. It does seem to be a comfort pick rather than uh, trying to go for the extra points the hidden there. Pretty much every time someone goes hidden on a easy map when I'm at this tournament, it's going to be because of Comfort Pick. If it's for the points, uh, that's actually very unlikely that it's for the points, um, because you're only allowed to go hidden on certain maps in the tournament, and if a map is deemed too easy with hidden, um, hidden is not allowed on that map. So yeah, uh, Illusionary White Traveler being picked by Avoyuru. We saw this in the match, uh, Badoo versus Quink. I believe it was the last pick there. Let's see if it 
going to be the last pick here as well. Where's the Will Cookie going to clutch another point? Maybe even a comeback. We'll see. Looks like Will Cookie is not opting for the hidden on this one. Might be a bit tough. Uh, has there are some weird timings at times, so I can definitely see uh, the opt out for the hidden. Of course, this is a much lower AR than uh, Easy HR or Easy D, so it could be just because of that as well. This map uh, starts out. I, I say starts out, but it's sym symmetrical the entire way through, and uh, pretty standard parachute mapping. You're going to have a lot of these long sliders, separated by either one, two, or one, four gaps. Ooh, and oh, and Yuru! That, that's why that slider is unrankable. You can't, at, gl at a glance, really tell uh, which way the slider is going. Oh, but Will Cookie does end up missing. Uh, I think that was a misread on order there from Will Cookie. So, uh, evening out the situation as we get into the harder parts in just a moment. But yeah, that slider uh, that Aoyuru missed on is uh, quite a tough one. But yeah, here we go into the hard part. Lots of 1-4 uh, gap sliders here, so slider breaks are to be expected. Oh, you're with a lead right now, but that could be blown at any moment. Oh, but Will Cookie does end up missing, and uh, with the lead that Aoyuru already has, especially after clearing that difficult slider section, this map is pretty much in the bag for Aoyuru. We're going to be moving on. Uh, let's look at the bracket, see uh, who they're going to be up against, as uh, this match is pretty much unwinnable now. I don't expect Aoyuru to fail. But yeah, looks like we'll have uh, Aoyuru going up against Markram. And then uh, Will Cookie will go up against the winner of uh, Gemini Gemini and stick to glue. And that will be that for the match today. Matches today, actually. This is uh, going to be the end of the stream. That is that. Aoyuru is going to take the match 5-1. Fairly convincingly, Will Cookie did a get uh, a nice FC on Todestrib, which uh, might bother Aoyuru a bit due to one reason or another. But overall, very nice showing from Aoyuru. Had that nice FC on Miracle Hinnacle. We got to see Kakuzet's Thanatos. Uh, nice match overall. But yeah. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed the first EMI2 stream. We really put uh, quite a bit of effort onto the skin and the overlay and all of that. So I hope you all enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, that's going to be that. Thanks for watching everyone.